covering the Nebraska legislature, LB 574 is one vote away from going to the governor's desk. That vote may happen as early as Thursday. That bill would ban gender affirming surgeries for Nebraskans under age 19. It would also require Nebraska's chief medical officer to make rules about other gender therapies. Senators did tack on an amendment to ban most abortions at 12 weeks starting at the gestational age, which opponents argue is more like a 10 week ban. It allows exceptions for rape and health of the mother, but does not allow exceptions for fetal abnormalities. Now, the key yes vote came from Ralston Senator Merv Reapy last night. He stalled the Heartbeat Act because he disagreed with a six week ban. This morning at the Nebraska Capitol, discussion of last night's vote resumed with strong words from several senators. If you have to lie, cheat, steal to get your outcome, you should really ask yourselves, should you be doing this? And if you have to exit through a construction zone, you should ask yourself, should you have voted that way? If you want to get up this morning and complain about procedure, that's fine. If you want to get up and be sad about how a vote didn't turn out yesterday the way you wanted, that's also fine. But don't you dare get up here and spout about cowardice when senators chose not to incite a mob of hundreds of angry protesters that not only were packing the rotunda, but were blocking every single entrance out of this building. Don't you dare spout about cowardice when we had senators leaking where senators were evacuating to so that the angry mob could go catch them there. Well, state law requires at least 24 hours before a vote can go from select file to final reading. So it could be passed as early as Thursday. The bill also has an emergency clause, so that means it would go into effect immediately after it's passed.